Hey guys, it's Anaya here. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about mom guilt and how I get through having a business without feeling so guilty about my children because we know that it's really hard to balance family and work. And a lot of times when we're not with our business, we feel bad for our children. And when we're with our children, um, then we have guilt about our business. And it's really, really hard to try to balance these mindsets you know, while you're dealing with your children and your family because it's constant back and forth of feeling guilty or feeling like, you know, you're putting too much work into one area and not the other because ultimately your business feels like your baby. And of course your babies are your babies as well. So becoming a mom while also trying to run a business has given me a totally different set of rules for my life. I live my life totally different than what I lived when I was single and had no children. Um, before I had children, I was basically like a really free, before I had children, I was like a really free flowing type of person. Like I was like a go with the flow type of person. I used to like to travel. I used to be able to just get on flights very last minute and just go and do whatever I want. And at this point, I am an extreme planner. Like if you did not tell me a month to two months in advance of what we're doing, sorry, my kids are yelling. But if you did not let me know ahead of time in advance of what we're trying to do or what we're doing, chances are I'm not gonna go, not gonna show up or not gonna wanna do it. Like that's how much of a planner that I am. I need like four to six months in advance. And then like, if you wanna do something for the weekend or the night, you gotta let me know like the week before. Like you can't just let me know like last minute what's happening, what we're doing. I just don't operate on that level no more. I know that before kids, I was a little more spontaneous and stuff like that. But at this point in my life, I don't even want to be that. Like, I don't care about it. I don't wanna be fun and spontaneous. <laughs> my kids are literally, and this is why I don't wanna be fun and spontaneous. I just want to have a structured thing and stability. That's all I want. You know what I'm saying? So at this point in my life, I really have to balance, um, you know, my emotions and my feelings and how I feel and make sure that I'm checking myself in order to keep both things moving forward, the business and the family. So how I do this, I mean, I am um, the type of person that will feel guilty if I'm not with my kids, like I remember even trying to go out for dinner when my kids were first born, especially Micah, and I would constantly just not be present in the moment because I'm constantly just thinking about them, thinking about what they're doing uh, and just wondering what's going on. So I'm the type of person that definitely does start to feel guilty if I'm away from my children for too long. So how I balance this with my work, I had to learn. I had to learn how to balance this with my work because every time I would go and try to do some type of work, I would feel like I was putting too much into my work and not enough into, you know, hanging out with my kids and stuff like that. Now, I am a stay-at-home mom, so I do have the luxury of being with my kids like 24-7, and that's probably why I'm a little bit more attached to them. So, sorry, I gotta drink some water. <laughs> there was only one time in my life that I've spent I think it was three or four days it was only four days away from my children and that was for a business trip and my mom had flew into um here in order for her to basically watch them for the day so even with her watching them, like I was not nervous or anything like that, but I definitely missed them. I definitely didn't feel complete without having my kids on the business trip with me. So there's definitely something like missing from my heart because I'm so used to seeing them every single day, every single second. So when I'm really not with them, I think I feel it like more intensely than most people because a lot of other moms had to go straight back to work after they had their baby. So they've kind of gotten over this like separation anxiety thing that we're going through. And, and as you can see, they're screaming up there. And I haven't gone through that phase yet. Like I've, like I said, I've been with my kids for a lot of the time now. I'm not going to say that this is easier. There's been times where I'm like, 
I kind of wish I had a job to get a break from my kids, but I am not gonna lie, like I'm very blessed to be home with them. I capture every single moment of them. And it is somewhat overwhelming trying to find a balance between taking care of them and also trying to work. And in the beginning, it was really hard. Like I didn't even know where to start because there wasn't really any mentors or guides to kind of help me learn how to balance both. Um, so basically in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how it is that I overcome my mom guilt and really do balance out tending to my business and tending to my children on a daily basis. So the first thing that I do is I legitimately give my mornings to my kids. So I don't open up my laptop or start any type of work until it hits at least 1 or 2 p.m. And that's when I actually go ahead and start to do my daily work, start to outsource, hop on Fiverr, send an email, do all this stuff. I know that this is not the ideal way for an entrepreneur by themselves to start off their day, but this is a, a good way for mompreneurs to start off their day because you're giving your morning to your kids, even if you don't wanna drag it out till one or 2 p.m. I usually have somebody come in to watch my children at that time so I can fully focus on my work. But some people, you know, don't have somebody to watch them or, you know, sometimes you you, you want to watch them like today, there's nobody watching them. So I'm doing these videos recording for like maybe an hour and then I'm going to go back upstairs and hang out with my kids. But today was fully theirs. Like there's no extra helping hand for me um, today. So it's all on me. And so what I usually do is I'll give my mornings to my kids, like I said, even if you don't want to drag it out till 1 or 2 p.m., even if you just do like from the time they wake up till 11. Um, I think this gives you a good amount of time to just spend with your kid, take your time. If you want to take them a, a morning bath, take them outside, go for a walk with them, read them stories, hang out with them, play with them, watch some TV. Um, like I said, I usually block out my time. Uh, my kids wake up very early, so... My kids wake up at 5 a.m. every single day. They've turned me into a 5 a.m. person, type of person that just gets up at 5 a.m., starts making tea, cleans the house, all this stuff. So I'm used to waking up at 5 a.m. And from five all the way to like one or two, depending on what we have scheduled for that day, I'm legitimately changing diapers, tending to my kids, hanging out with them, feeding them breakfast, feeding them lunch, and then whoever comes in to help me ultimately feeds them dinner. And then I return home for bedtime and I put them to sleep. So, you know, it's really, really good to have multiple hands on deck, I will say. Um, if you can block out your time for your kid and then block out time for your work and, and also give yourself somebody who can watch them that you know is giving them the attention that you would have given them during that time anyway. So you don't really feel like they're missing out. Because I can't like explain how much, like I've had a couple of nannies now and I fired them, a lot of them. But when you have a good nanny or someone good that's watching your kid and you walk into the room and your kid is happy and they're chilling and they're, they're looking like they had the best day ever because they don't see you being drained because somebody else stepped in when you were just at your most tired. Now, I of course have to hire somebody because I moved across the country and I'm away from all of my family, so I don't have any family members that can come in here and watch my kid and spend time with them. So I have to pay for it, but I know that there is a lot of people who have their family members, their mom, their dad, their sister, their brother, and they're able to watch your kid or they honestly just volunteer to watch your kid. So I would say to utilize that and definitely come up with a schedule for yourself where you put your kids first. So this way, when it's time for you to actually get into work, you're not feeling burdened. You're not feeling like, oh, you know, I didn't spend that much time with my kids, so I feel kind of bad or I'm just constantly thinking about them because I know deep down inside I didn't go for a walk with them or like the days are just slipping by. So every day I make my children the priority of my schedule and then I have a time that I legitimately clock out and then clock back in. And this has helped me so much with facing mom guilt and it's helped me to con continue to pursue my dreams as a business owner and to continue to basically make these videos and help moms all around the world because I really love the movement and I'm really passionate about helping other moms, especially other moms who don't really have the emotional support 
or the family support or even the financial support because some of us were raised by single moms and we know um, what a struggle that journey can be alone. And it's, it's very, very hard. So no matter if somebody's supporting you or not, I believe that you should have the resources in order to create the life that you want. And the best way to do that is to enlighten yourself and to gain more knowledge about the subject that it is that you're trying to get better at or perfect. So definitely go ahead and check out the Laptop Mommy's website where I give you a bunch of free resources, whether you are a single mom, a co-parenting mom, a mom in a relationship, a mom who just wants financial advice, a mom who just wants to start an online business. Um, everything is there for you. I have a couple of courses and of course I have the Mommy Millionaires Club where we teach you the fundamentals and everything there is to know about creating an online business, whether that's through selling products, harnessing on your skills, creating some sort of ebook, creating some, some, some sort of course. Uh, moral of the story is you don't need a lot of money to start up your online business and to create some type of cash flow. And you also don't need to do weird things to get it done either. You know, don't jeopardize something that you normally wouldn't do in order to get money for a moment. So that's another reason why I'm really, really passionate about this movement and getting some of the information out there to some of you moms. So yeah, basically moral of the story is um, I schedule my time with my kids first in order for me to not feel the repercussions of mom guilt. And with doing this, every time I start to think something while I'm on the computer, I immediately think of that day, that very morning when I took my kids outside and took them to the park and I see my kid being pushed on the swing mentally in my head, I know that I did what I had to do. I spent the quality time that I had to spend with my kid and they are going to be okay for the couple of hours that I am working because I definitely did prior to prioritize them and give them the attention, affection, playtime, food and nurturing for the day and the morning. So it doesn't really feel like I'm missing out on anything. It's not like I'm coming home and they're tired or they're sleeping and I just miss the day. It's kind of just putting them first, getting them out the way, and then doing the things that I need to do. So I really hope that this video was somewhat helpful in scheduling your time with your children. Um, like I said, there's not just one way to do this, but you know, don't let mom guilt get in the way of you pursuing your dreams or pursuing your business because in the end it's going to benefit everyone including your children when they see that you do have a business um they might want to start a business or they may just see your work ethic i can't tell you like how i've gotten my work ethic from seeing my mother just bust her ass all the time you know what i'm saying like so it literally will seep into the person who is watching you so don't ever dis discredit or discount the things that you're doing in front of your children because chances are they're grabbing onto them and they're probably going to do things a lot similar to you as they get older so it's important for us to like you know give them a decent example at the very least like we're not going to be perfect here every child is going to come with a traumatic story let's be real but let's let's keep it decent for these kids you know what i'm saying so i hope that this video was somewhat helpful and um yes don't let mom guilt get in the way of pursuing your dreams as a mother pursuing your dreams as a business owner and i will see you guys in the next video bye